Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tis I, the Jabbering Magpie, bringing you a spot more amnesia for Dark Descent. And that was a slightly possessed shovel. Right. Let's just get on with it, shall we? On a time limit. Cooking a chicken. No, seriously, I'm cooking a chicken. It's butter and mushroom and... Hello. Oh. Help me. Who's the switch? Okay. Help me. Just pulling it really slowly. Thank you. You have my gratitude. Don't know what that did. My name is Agrip. Ow. Who might you be? I'm Daniel Mayfair. Like a prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me. Are you among the lion's den? No, I'm Alexander? among oh, creepy why? fucking chewing gum. So Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> you hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. Yes. That's, that's not very promising at all. The sector is basically a penetrant, but I guess the white hole. It could be breached by another. But Alexander broke his, I mean, my orb, a long time ago. <laughs> I bet Alexander broke his orbs. Really? Well, if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken orb and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leap madness, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the choir and the transept. You should be able to find them there. Okay, well, thank you for the tip. I'm just sort of covering you as your uh, visage is fucking Daniel, hideous. I hate to bother you first, but if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? Yeah, you sure, buddy. Ridiculous. I mean, look at me. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan I. Would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help him. A recipe for some Ow. sort of potion. A nice tonic. Fucking spike. Okay, okay, I'll help you. Right. Fortunately, I remember what needs to be done. Oh, that So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way to fix it. Yeah, I can't open this, and this looks like it's got the goddamn skull on it from Warhammer 40k. Oh, and this is actually openable. Nice. I'm assuming it's safe because we've got the lovely Agrippa there. Hideous torture. More blood. And more places for Alexander to tie people up. And I hear a woman weeping in the background. Glorious. Just fucking glorious. Uh, yeah, the this will not be out on the same day I'm recording. Ooh, shit. That one's containing fart gas, which scares me. This is coming out on the day after they... Uh, well, I'm recording this the day after they release um, Amnesia on PS4. And apparently it includes achievements. Which is really quite annoying because it would require me to play for it. Again, to get that achievements. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. The taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in the dim haze. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. These cuts speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Uh. They will be back. 
Oh yeah, Pepperidge Farm remembers. They will be back. Right, any creepy shit in here? I'll have that, bit of meat. Oh dear. Oh. Weird glowy lights and the transcell. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. <laughs> he swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the wi window at the widespread forest and the morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought. Jesus Christ, you didn't think when you wrote that one, did you chaps? That was essentially a passage about blowies. Good old fashioned blowies. Oh! There's an old Jatty Bojangles knocking about down there. No, no, now's not the time. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't Oh shit. It's just a myth after all. It's just a myth. Oh shit. Not your greatest move, bollocks! Okay, I just had the frightening fucking sounds, but... Oh no, wait, here he comes, here he is, shambling his way towards me. Just gonna shut that. Alright, you can't break this door down. This is like the inner sanctum. He'll be really annoyed. You dig? Well, I'll tell you what, you wander around back there. I'm going to stick my hand in this. Because I'm a dickhead. And it is my goal in life to make Daniel stick his hand in as many offending things as possible to injure himself. Ooh. Smooth hemispherical depression at the top. Yeah, Alexander's behind there. Hello! Mr. Tatty! Please tell me you've gone away. Gone off on a holiday. I like that. Why does... It looks a bit like a... Siamese temple of some description. I holiday in, in Thailand quite frequently. Lovely blue fire. Let's do aesthetic. Please don't be in here waiting to bite my face off. Ooh, tablets. Historical doodads. Armour for an exceedingly tall man. And more books on fucking flowers. Here, read this. Oop, I missed. Sorry. Okay. Some kind of alchemical symbols. Or astronomical symbols. I am unfamiliar with these. Probably trying to summon Sailor Moon. These have... 
They look a bit like winged bulls, which is Assyrian. Rather fond of your winged bulls with the Assyrians. Fortunately, the great examples that were in Nimrud have been destroyed by ISIS. So if you want to see a winged bull from the Assyrian period, you have to go to a British museum. Or the Louvre. Oh my god, maybe Daniel nicked them. Oh well. Oh. Destroying history. Ah, my collection. Ooh, lamps. Can I summon a genie? Ah, what's in here? We go from Assyrian to creepy Prussian. And more alchemical bollocks. And blood. I'm assuming this is where they did the uh, rituals of cutting people and stabbing people and what happened to her? generally being dicks. Let's read this. Shattered Orb. All is lost. I must once again start over. Ever since I recovered the orb, first found by Agrippa, I have depended on it for my research. The incident with Wilhelm made me lose my... Uh, made me most impetuous. Fearing a paucity of prisoners, I proceeded with the final ritual without proper foresight. The orb cracked and fell into six pieces. I have tried everything, but have of yet to mend the thing. Unless I can think of a way to piece it together, I will have to find another. There is still life in the pieces, and even if the orb isn't restored, I might be able to salvage some of its power for some other purpose. Centuries have passed in vain, and I begin to wonder if I will ever be able to see my love again. How much longer can I sustain my life? Have you tried superglue? Because that is guaranteed to stick your orb and your fingers together. Silly bishop. Not Bishop Baron. Why do I keep on calling him Bishop of Brandenburg? Call me Daddy if you like. And what do we have? Ah, Machinarium. Twelfth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. Daniel's Diary. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. There are many tools in the torture chamber, Daniel. This one, for example. It's flared at the tip like a horse's. Oh, I found a bucket of tar. Um, I'm not sure you have any right to call people degenerates, as we have a lot of lo laudanum, and we consume. Oh Jesus, it's noisy in here. We consume a lot of laudanum. We have a 19th century equivalent of a smack addict. There we go, I'm gonna put a box on top of you, stupor. Is this guilt I missing then? If so, blame yourself. <laughs> you started this. No, I didn't. You sent me that letter asking for help. Blame Herbert. This is how you repay me. How dare you? <laughs> it won't budge. Yeah, that's odds law. Well, bugger off. Alexander getting all moody. It had gone too far, the man was suffocating as he could no longer be breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. Be 
these cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Because it's nice to share with friends. Oh, your box fortress is gone. I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippi. I was once quite important to you. And I'm very German. Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead heart for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. Okay, well, this, the first time I played this game, took me forever to figure out. Agrippa, I love you, but be quiet for a second, please, mate. By me? I'm the next best thing. Alexander really wants that none of this is Johann Meyer. You never heard of Johann Meyer? My god, boy. He's oh my the god. He's the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Or is it the world has forgotten? No, I might just be extremely ignorant. Real life historical figures there. Yeah, this took me ages I to figure out. My pupil. My pupil. Agrippa! Yes, I do take pride in Santa. Is it so wrong? Yeah. In order to get the doors working, you have to push this fucking cog in this little trap door. Which is really hard to find. Find which had not been planned before. Do you know me, Thaisis? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing. Building temples out of caverns. The dark walls being the universe. And inside are its followers. Humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection to creation. The orbs. Yeah, well, if they had the orbs, how come they lot lost out to the rather Not minor really cult of a heretical sect of Judaism known as Christianity. Or break, then used by an I was lucky. So all I Can I turn you off? And return to where I found them. I know, because Alexander took it and brought it to Brennenberg. Okay, Agrippa. Uh, are you done? Come on, bit more exposition. I was a brave man and dared to perceive that I did not. He unearthed a number of cavern temples and gathered a whole collection of orbs. But unlike every other finder since the fall of the Israeli faith, he was able to unshackle the horror you and I connected with the orbs. He used them and was able to travel far and wide beyond the world itself. Ugh. Should have just used Megabus. That's the way I hope for. I've done all that I can to escape this prison. But now, I use all my strength merely to stay alive. Thanks, Agrippa. Bye, Agrippa. Jesus Christ. He's a gobby one. Bit more of the castle falling to pieces there. Run, 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 circular staircase. Why is there direct sunlight from here? I thought we were miles underground. Well, not miles, but I thought we were still in a fucking dungeon of some ilk. Oh, Daniel. Just... Wigging out. Again. Who are you to question me? I don't know if you heard that because I turned the sound right down. System is online. Job ist ein Gutten. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. 
I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. What, as in you were letting me proceed beforehand? Sending your legion of fucking servants after me. To terrorise me constantly. Ah, you again. Hey, Grippa. Good going. I knew you could do it. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's lovely. Right, let's find some orby bits. Hello. If you're in doubt of what is down the well, annoy it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh god, it's really angry now. To the transept. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. <laughs> uh, bedtime stories with Alexander of Brennenberg. Oh, this is nice. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Lord. Kill me! This one. Prepare him. I like the look of this one. Okay. We'll go upstairs. Barrel staircases. Excellent method of defense in hand to hand combat. Oh, it's Jesus! Uh, nothing new for me to report on here. You're still looking quite wrinkly. More Syrian winged balls. And weird flappy sounds everywhere. What do we have? Oh, it's the sheep botherer. No, wait, the cow botherer. That classic work of art. And Alexander has torture equipment. In his study. And picture of himself, which is a bit odd. There we go. Oh. Power of Christ compels you. Power of Christ compels you. Pulsion. We'll just pop that there. Who you... Sorry, mate. Did my best. Well, what do we have in here? What goodies are in store? Piece of paper. Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with the physical pain and the terror of anticipation. That is shitting themselves. Yeah, I, I think that's what I do in that situation. I would expel feces across the room. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining victims before proceeding. Even most timid creatures can break out in fits of violence where the strength that seeks their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. Yeah. Presentation always is a must. Anything you do in life, from torture to... You know, trying to get a job. Presentation. Tart yourself up a bit. Let them see. Show them what you can do. There's a little tip for you from the Jabbering Magpie. If you ever find yourself in need of such things. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greater fear. Simply by imagining it. I don't really call that efficiency. I call that a fucking problem. 
While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain doses if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce a vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. And with careful performance, will the victim yield maximum effect? If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Here's one I made earlier. Jesus Christ, you never saw that on Blue Peter or Art Attack. Though it would have made the shows even more awesome. Oh, I like the chair, that's a nice chair. Pop that back. Pop that back nicely. Come on, Daniel! Good lad. And let's listen to more wibbly wobbly alien bollocks. Uh, is it you, my love? I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is the only matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Yeah, the Black Eagle is fucking Russian slash Germanic order of kooky old bastards, basically. Um, the great Frederick, old Fritz of Germany, was a member of the Black Eagle. He has worn its symbol in every single one of his portraits ever ever drawn of him. So my girlfriend tells me because she's rather obsessed with him. And apparently, much like Alexander, he was a massively fruity old man. So, on that note of fruity old figures of history, I think it's time to go. As uh, I think my chicken might be done. Mm. Shall be delicious. Do hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. I know I certainly did. And if you have any chicken experience, or any lovely recipes of chicken. Do send them to me in the comments. For now, I shall wish you the very tattiest of bahas.